today's video, we will check a PLC program to control an air compressor unit. As shown in the image, there are two pressure set point which is our input. And the pump and the light indicator will be the output. This is the operation. Pressure should be maintained between 90 and 110 psi. When below 90 psi, pump will run to build up pressure to the tank, and pump will stop in 110 psi. A light indicator will energize when pressure inside the tank is above 90 psi. Ok, let's open up our S-Logics application, and load the PLC program. Under Program Files Ladder 2, there are two instruction which is JSR, Jump to Subroutine. On the first rung, JSR is labeled as Input and Output. And the second rung, JSR is labeled Control. Meaning we have two ladder circuit, one for the input output. And the other one for the control. On the sidebar, you can see under Program Files, LAD 3 is for the input and output and LAD4 for the control. Let's open up these two files. This is the input output ladder program. As you can see, we have here the 90 PSI switch, and 110 PSI switch as our input. And pump bit input, to energize the pump output. Also the indicator bit input, to energize the indicator light output. Now, let's go on to LAD3, the control. This is the control operation of the air compressor unit. As you can see, there are timer instruction on the ladder program. From rung 0 to rung 2, this is where the pump will run below 90 psi. Instead of going straight to control pump, I use timer on delay and put also a one shot instruction. This is to make sure that the pressure is really below 90 psi before it energize the pump. The same thing for the cutoff pressure, which is 110 psi. When pressure reach 110 psi, pump will stop after 5 seconds. The timer instruction is set to 5 seconds, this is to prevent the pump to start and stop on small amount of time. Now, let's simulate the program and check the operation. The pump should start immediately when we switch on the system, but the light should be off. Then, let's toggle the 90 PSI switch. The pump will remains on, and the light indicator should be energized. As you can see, there is 5 seconds delay before the light turn on. Which is our preset time in our timer. Ok, let's leave the low pressure switch closed, and let's toggle the high pressure switch on as well. The pump should de-energize, and the light should remain energized. Now, the pump is off. Let's de-energize the high pressure switch. Pump should remain de-energize and the light indicator will stay on. And then, let's switch off also the low pressure switch. Pump should start back and the light indicator will get off. That was a simple PLC program to control the air compressor pressure, using PLC ladder program. See you next time for another PLC tutorial.